Okay, Charles Leblanc here. Uh, you don't need to go on a, you don't, you don't need to be, I'm in the deep woods right now. You don't need to be home to get your blood pressure going if you have the internet. It's my first beer for the year 2017. Happy New Year. Okay. Everybody is all emotionally upset over that young girl that died, Elaine. This girl was uh, uh, going to be a future, she was a cycling star, racing. And uh, she was riding a bicycle outside of Sussex. And that's the four lane highway. And she got hit by a car and later on died. Now everybody's upset. It is, it is a damn shame. And, uh, you know, when something like this happens, I always ask the question, you know, like everybody else, what happened? What happened? Now, they say the sun was in the driver's eyes at 2.30 in, in the afternoon. Uh, it's December. There was a person riding a bicycle on the highway in December or, or January. Um, but there's, everybody's upset, then they want to pass a law called the Elaine, Elaine Law, am I pronouncing her, her name right? That if you see a cyclist, you'll be a meter, you'll have to pull your car a meter away from the cyclist. Now, personally, it doesn't make any sense because New Brunswick is the worst province when it comes for cycling issues. New Brunswick is way, way, way beyond. New Brunswick were the first one in 1995 that passed a law, which I fought with Frank McKenna in 1995, that everyone should wear a helmet. Everybody. You ride a bicycle, you wear a helmet. Myself, I rode a 10-speed bike across Canada and across the States. That was 40 years ago. I fought Frank. I said, no, no. This was this for the lobbyists to make money. So I turned around and I said, okay, uh, what's going to be next? Elbow pad? What's going to be next? Knee pads? Um, you'll have to wear a goalie equipment to ride a bicycle. It never crossed my mind that the police, especially the Fredericton police, would use that stupid law to stop certain individual, welfare bums or Indians, on the street at 2 o'clock in, in, in the morning, hey, you're running a bicycle with no helmet. Calm down, Charles. So, this law, the issue of cycling, I mean, this law, let's say if it passed, What's going to happen? You know, like, like I'm jumping here. Like the bite law, I should be able to stand in the corner and call the police immediately. Oh, I just seen a beautiful blonde ride down the street with no helmet. Hurry, hurry, the police should move. Oh, I just seen somebody else ride a bicycle on, on the sidewalk. Hurry! And I, you know, the cops, we should spend our energies hunting down people that dare to exercise. Now, what's going to happen now? We don't have no bite lane in the city. So, you ride a bicycle, somebody, you're not allowed on the sidewalk, which I ride on the sidewalk all the time, responsible driving. Uh, <coughs> so this car goes by you, this car, oh, no, 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 take the license plate, call the police. Oh, another one, call the police. What is that person supposed to do, hit a car, hat on? Now, there's too many issues than to worry about this law. First have bike lane, like here in front of them, we got beautiful bike lanes, but we're not allowed to use it. The people don't use the bike lane because they got the rat patrol, the park patrol, goes after people that don't wear a helmet. So what they do, they use the streets in Freddington. They go on the street and we're just waiting until somebody gets killed and then they'll say, well, if you would have been allowed on the rat patrol on the, on the trails, he will, he will be alive today, same as this one here, if there would have been. There's, there's too many unanswered questions with this case here. Like, you know, like I just said, ride a bicycle in December. And 
there's so many issues. But this thing here, I can't support. I will not support. Because you'll have to deal with the other real issues first. Bike lanes, how you're going to treat cycling. Everybody's doing a lot of talking, but there's no action. So just because the speaker of the legislator, Chris Collins, says, well, why do you support this? I know. Emotion mustn't. Uh, Emotion mustn't pass laws. Facts pass laws. This thing here, there's too many un unanswered questions of what happened. So, this LA uh, law, I can't support. First, go after the real, real issues. Then we'll worry about this one. Mm.